Hi guys, what's up? I'm still trying to figure out where to put my phone on my new car. I'm probably gonna have to buy like a stand or something because, um, what's it called? Because there's really nowhere to put my phone at, um, like my other car. So, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. I haven't actually like vlog vlog, like I've picked up the camera here and there, but it hasn't actually been like vlog vlogging um, because I've just been so busy lately with work and with family and all these but I've also been like I've also been recording a lot so I've I had really good content for you guys um, for like the past few weeks just because I've been pre-recording and um, that is something good that came out of that and um, I had a little bit more time to just like focus on what I needed to focus on check in because I cut my hair. <laughs> I want to tell you guys that I cut my hair. Um, but I also, um, I don't know, guys. Um, I went to a concert. I think I have a little clip of that, or I have a few clips of that. But I went to a, um, it was the Outcry concert. It was where all these, like, Bethel music and uh, mosaic worship or something like that, and elevation worship. There were some of my favorite, favorite, like, Christian bands. So we went with my friends and it was such a fun, fun night. Um, and just praising the Lord was so nice for me. Um, but we also got some great news in. So the past few weeks, um, if you guys don't know, I am not legal here. Well here, like I am not a US citizen. I came at the age, at a very young age, at the age of two. Um, because my parents, I was born in Mexico, now have put in our paperwork um, for our residency. There's a huge process to getting your US citizenship, um, and I totally get that, like I understand that, but there's like a process for that. And, um, and so I took the process of getting my DACA, which now you can't get, um, but that was kind of a pathway to citizenship. Just because after a certain year, uh, a certain amount of years, you can apply for your residency, um, and with the help of like a family member or something, you could you could most likely get your residency. Um, but it wasn't like a straight path to citizenship because you could still, um, you could even if you like had five years on DACA, you could still get denied the um, residency. So uh, it, my situation was kind of like I was just like wondering which way I should go um, and so then after that um, I got my DACA thankfully and um, we're, we have just now put in the paperwork to try to get my residency and my sister's residency um, and then after the residency you have to have a certain amount of years hold on let me put my arm thing in. okay after um, residency you have to have a certain amount of years to apply for your citizenship so it's a it's a really long process and like our application in for our residency and that takes time it takes money so i've just been like working mom has been working we've just been working our booties off because it takes money and if you don't have the money you can't you practically can't get anywhere with your paperwork because um you need to have the money for it so we put in our paperwork i think like two weeks ago um our application for that um, and we've been praying 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 that my sister gets her DACA because we had put her DACA application in and if you don't know what I'm talking about you can just skip through all this because maybe you're not interested or maybe you don't even like know what I'm talking about but for the people who do know and who are interested then this is definitely like watch this but if you don't know this might just be a whole bunch of like like gibberish for you so we had put my sister's application for DACA in last year um and it was right before um trump had stopped the daca so um it was like right before then and then he stopped it and i remember we were like so freaked out because we we're like oh my gosh like he, like like we had just barely put it in we're like we hope she gets her daca and so we had been praying that she gets it and we got no response no response like for months and months after we put we put it in so we literally were we were just saying she's not gonna get it like they just closed it and that she's not gonna get it we just thought she wasn't gonna get it and um recently like two weeks ago they responded and they sent us a letter and they said that um 
they were just missing like a few because whenever you send in your information like an application you have to prove to them that you've been here for every single year that you're um, that they require you to show them so in order for you to like get your DACA you have to show them that you've gone to school you've worked you've um, that you you've been in the US for those years that they are asking you to show them so they were missing like two years I think or something like that so we got right on it we're like okay well if they sent us this letter then we're gonna get these years in so we set the years in um, that they needed and you can just usually get it from like if you if you went to school we just got it from her school because she went to school throughout those years so um, we just like um, called the school that she went to and we're like hey we're looking could you send us um, her grades or her like a letter saying that she attended school this year that and then we sent that off and yesterday we got a good response and that she was approved for DACA which was insane and I remember just like being shook I was like what like it took us so long it took them so long to respond to us and my you see my DACA process was super it was easier because I turned in my application they like sent me um, an approval notice a few months, like three months after I sent it in. And that seemed forever for me. Can you imagine like a year waiting for your DACA approval or for even like any, de like if they declined you or not. And so it was just been, it was like a, a rough, rough year for, for us all. So I got the approval notice yesterday that she was approved, approved for DACA, which is a good step for us because it'll be not it'll, it won't make it easier but in some way it does make it a lot simpler in order for us to like go through our residence um, residency application um, and you guys I'm not like a lawyer or anything so don't go after what I'm saying I could totally like be just saying crap right now but like don't go after what I'm saying this is just what I think is going on in my head <laughs> and what I've heard so um, we're actually going through that and I was like do I really want to share this with my viewers do I really just because it's a very personal thing very personal and I get how like but I'm like no I don't want to be embarrassed of the fact that I'm going through this because people go through this every single day and there's tons of people out there going through the same process similar process who feel hopeless who have waited a year three months six months two years for a response and the fact that we got a response and we got her DACA approved is amazing and you know it's weird how some in some way shape or form you feel a little ashamed of what you're doing but it's because of what like the 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 world that we're living in right now like our world like it's it's shameful for you to talk about this and I'm just like no I'm not gonna be ashamed of what I'm going through like I am gonna speak up and I'm gonna be a voice in this so my sister got her DACA approval and um, and trust me being a high school being a senior in high school and not knowing if you can go to college because you don't have a social security number because you don't you just don't have this paper in your hand but you went through those 12 years of school and sorry guys I get emotional talking about this but you went through like those 12 years of school and you dreamt your whole life of what you can be and the fact that you can't do what you have dreamt to be because you don't have papers is it sucks it sucks because my sister has been in it like me not so much I tried to go to cosmetology school but I couldn't get in because I couldn't get any help and that's all money it's all money so I didn't have the money I didn't get help so I didn't end up going to cosmetology school but that's cosmetology school my sister wants to be a nurse a doctor like she has big dreams and the fact that she can't that the fact that there was a possibility that she couldn't get into school because of those things like it breaks your heart because like she's talked about it ever since she was so young and it kills me to know that if she did want to go to college that there's no help for her there's no help for our family that she has to go like she has to be lower and lesser than everybody else who does get help you know many of her friends are getting approved and many of her friends are going through this process like going through this college process that she doesn't get to go through and it kills me it kills me knowing that because like I 
love my sister so much and I feel like she's she's fought so hard to be where she's at and we're gonna continue fighting and I swear we're gonna get her to through school I swear we're gonna get her through her dreams because that is what we're gonna fight for so I'm just so thankful that we're fighting for this like I'm thankful that we didn't just like sit and like oh no that's impossible like no we're gonna fight to make her dreams come true and that is like something that's burning so hard inside of me I'm like no like I'm gonna keep fighting that's just my little update I'm so incredibly thankful that we even got a response like I think being thankful and grateful for the little things in life is so important because I could say oh we got a DACA response but we still need to get our residency we still need to get our citizenship oh my gosh all these years but no 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 no. we got her DACA she can work she can get her permit to drive a car she can get a driver's license like it's not it's not a boohoo situation like I'm so incredibly proud of how far we've come of the response that we've gotten I am so happy that I can wait and if we do get this residency stuff figured out like I, I would be happy to wait five years to get my citizenship. I would just, like, it's the little things that I'm celebrating, and so I chose to share this with you guys. Um, I don't know if my sister's comfortable talking, for me talking about it on my channel. I'll, talk, I'll text her and be like, hey, are you cool with me talking about this on my channel? But I think it's so incredibly important for people to have a voice and for people to share their stories. And I'm just really raw. This is what I'm going through right now. Raw, raw. What our family's going through. It's expensive. It's scary. You don't know what the outcome is. They're telling us that we have to go to Mexico for a little bit. It's just like, it's scary. And I have just chosen to share it with you guys, and I'll probably just make this its own little video. Just, I thought I was going to put this in a vlog, but my vlog's going to be way too long if I put this in a vlog. So it's going to be my own, um, I think it's just going to make it, um, I think I'm going to make it its own little video. So that's it. Um, we've gone through ups and lows, but mainly I'm just thankful that we're getting somewhere because for a little bit I'm just like are we even are we even getting anywhere like are we even doing anything like for a little bit you know like you just think those things like you it's so dry the season is so dry like you don't hear a voice like you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel but after like a year of waiting she finally finally got it um plus it was my brother's anniversary his um his passing um, and so we've just had up and lows and um, we're holding on and we're fighting for what we what we love and what we what what is valuable to us and what's important to us so if I could tell you something from this message because I'm here at work now if I could tell you something from this video is keep fighting even though you don't have a response even though you don't know where the heck is gonna lead you even if you have all these ifs what ifs do it like fight for what you love fight for your family for what you deserve as a human being fight and um you deserve it you deserve it and so that's it i'm gonna close off because i'm here at work i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video um and yeah thank you guys i love you guys bye